Hello my most amazing artists and welcome back to Art at Home with me, Miss Wegman. Today we are going to add a pop of color to those seascapes that we drew together last time and it's going to end up looking a little something like this. I'm going to show you how to blend some colors to make your sand color. We'll, we'll color in our middle ground which is our ocean and our background which is our sunset sky. So what are we waiting for? Let's get started. So the first part of my seascape that I'm going to color is my sand. Now I've got this big 50 box of Crayola colored pencils that I could use and they just so happen to have a color called sand so if I wanted to make things easier I could just use this but I know that not everyone has that so we're going to put that to the side and I'm going to show you how you can make a sand color using yellow and brown. This is a light brown colored pencil but you can also use it with regular brown. And I'm going to actually start off with my yellow. I'm going to do yellow very lightly and then very lightly on top of that, the brown color pencil. So let's see what that looks like. My foreground is done. I've got my sand, my palm tree, and my little things on the beach colored in. Something to note about the way that I colored my sand though is that when I was coloring it, I made sure to move my pencil along with the direction that my beach was moving, not all over the place in different directions. If you move with the direction that that part is going, it'll make it look more realistic. Also, to make sure I wasn't coloring too dark, I made sure to hold the pencil at the ends and kind of that helps me control how hard or soft I'm pressing. If I hold it closer to the tip, then you're going to be able to press harder. If you move your hand back, then it's a lot lighter. All right, time to move on to my water. Now, something important I have to remember is that this little area here where I made where the crashing waves are going to be, I'm barely going to put any color there. I might take a little bit of light blue and very lightly put a little bit around the edges there, but all of my focus is going to be on my water. Since my land was moving this way, I went this way, but since my water is like this, I'm going to make sure that all of my pencil strokes go horizontally. And I'm going to use a blend of a couple different blues that I have, and I'm also going to throw a little bit of green in there too. If you happen to have any teals or turquoises around, you can play around with those too. But ocean water or lake water or any kind of water is really fun to color when you have a variety of blues and greens and you can kind of mix and match. Just make sure when you add the green that it's not too green. And now my water is done. Now I'm sure you saw me stop for a second at the beginning there and I added this little bit of yellow because our next step is we're going to make our sunset sky. And to make my picture look more realistic by adding this little bit of yellow, this like upside down triangle shape here that kind of mirrors our setting sun, it has that, it's the reflection. It's the reflection of the sun on the water and it just adds a little bit more of a realistic touch. And I blended all of my different blues. So now I'm going to work on my sunset sky and this one I'm probably going to speed up part of the video for you. But I'm actually going to flip my paper upside down because that way I'm not reaching across my paper to work on it. And I'm going to start filling in my sun and the various colors. So I'm going to need yellow and this is a golden yellow and I'm also going to need to kind of you know work my way backwards in the rainbow so from yellow I go to orange I've got a light orange a regular orange I have a red orange um, I may or may not put a little bit of red in here from there I'm probably going to move to a little smidge of light blue and then maybe a little dark blue and maybe near the very very tippy top of my paper you might even see a little bit of a violet purple color um, just to make my sunset look realistic. So I'm gonna put those colors to the side and I'm gonna get started working on my sunset. Our seascape is 
complete. Remember the different parts of your seascape. We have our foregrounds, our middle grounds, and our backgrounds. Have fun, make sure that you're coloring in the correct directions, give that a shot, and just have some fun blending colors. I did mine with colored pencil. You could do this with crayon, really anything that blends. And if you drew this on thicker paper and you have the supplies, feel free to try it with some watercolor. Blending the colors would work exactly the same, yellow and brown to make a sand color. Use the lid of your paints to help you mix it up, all right? So have some fun. Before I let you go though, I do want to show you a couple examples of a seascape from an artist who paints seascapes. Now the thing about this artist though is that you would never be able to Google him. In fact, I am one of the only few people out of my entire family that is, who could see this artist's artwork and that's because it is my grandfather, Len Wegman. He is the person who taught me to paint, and one of the things that he paints since he lives down the shore are seascapes. So I wanted to take a moment before I let you go to show you some of them. So this is one of them. This is off of a beach path with the beach umbrellas in the background. You can see the different directions of his paint strokes and how he mixes the colors. He works with acrylic paints. Here's another one with some sandpipers. And if we were having school like usual, I would be showing these to you there too. I'm very, very proud of his paintings. This is one of my favorites. This is the beginning of the beach path, more in the fall. We have another one here with some seagulls. And this one is my absolute favorite. It's probably because it stands out because he painted the whole thing, but um, this one would be beach. And I love the orangey colors because it looks like a sunset. Now these aren't his actual paintings, those are with him at his house. But these are prints of them that I was able to get when he had an art show once a few years ago. So I hope you enjoyed those and I hope that they gave you a little bit of inspiration. Remember to send me your artwork when you're done. Have fun, be creative, and I miss you all so much. See you again soon. Bye!